While I can hear, I am in Melipeoco, Chile, where I just recently raced the Across Andes bikepacking race, which is a 1,017 kilometer event with about 14,000 meters of climbing. And I'm here with my friend Daisy. This is a, a street dog that lives here in this area in Chile, and we have become friends. Wednesday and we've got some new friends out. Just uh, gonna go up to Gongilo National Park. It's currently closed, but we're gonna ride up there to see the lava fields and just do a short spin. wonderful than I expected. I, I really didn't know much about Chile or South America. Honestly, this is my first time in the continent of South America and it is amazing. The people here are just so kind. They will literally give the shirt off their back to you if you needed it. I experienced Chilean kindness at its finest when I found a crack on Friday, two days before the race on my bike and a person from Santiago helped me get a new frame, put a bottom bracket in the frame, and sent it the next day with somebody on a plane who was coming to race. And I was able to finish the race because of their kindness and their help. base camp and race start and finishes and we are going in the hot tub. It's this natural wood hot tub where they use a, um, it's like a wood smoke oven that heats the water. So we're going to go and get in and see what it's like. Let's go. How is it? It's good. It's, yeah? It's warm. It's, it's warm. Nice. It's steamy looking. How is outside? It's negative 10 as, <laughs> as Ulrich says.
pony party. We're having so much fun. She always rides with a, with a smile. For 1,017 kilometers, it took me 68 hours and 40 minutes and change. I finished in the middle of the night with a bunch of amazing people there to greet me, and I had a great time. I hope that you consider coming to Across Andes. I hear there may be a new route next year, and I will certainly be coming back to give the new route a shot. So, cheers. Thanks for watching, all.